みなさん、こんにちは。ドミニクです。Today, about knowledge. However, knowledge, not about Japanese language itself. General knowledge. This is what every single teacher that I interview, and they make, I would say, at least yon sen yen per hour. Most of them they have private classes, whether online or in person, and they all mention that as one of the most important soft skills for a good teacher. What do they mean by that? Two types of knowledge. One type is related to Japan in general. Knowledge about as many Japanese things as possible, not related to the language itself only. For example, about manga, about movies, about history, about culture, about food, about different places. Why? Because every student is different, every student has different hobbies. You as a teacher should find out what are the interests of students. So this student will be more talkative, will be more happy to study Japanese with you because that will be about the topic that he likes, he is familiar and he is very happy to study. If you don't know student's topic that he likes, for example, he or she likes manga and you as a teacher, maybe you don't like or you don't know anything about, you cannot answer immediately. This student is not motivated. This student feels a bit the classes are boring. This student will very unlikely to keep you or recommend you uh, in a long term as a teacher because there is nothing in common that you are able to talk. That's why you should have as much knowledge as possible about different topics, especially about Japan. Now, it doesn't mean that you need to like every topic, no, but you should know some basics about the main topics that foreigners like about Japan. And then once you have student, you know this student is interested, let's say, in food or traveling. Then you have time maybe to prepare for the next lessons, but uh, in a very good way you know this topic will be keep coming back many times, so you should be working about this topic or topics, creating your lessons and making students happy. And second type of knowledge, it's a general knowledge worldwide. For example, knowledge about finance, about law, about politics, about traveling. This type of knowledge is also very important because if your student is studying, let's say, law or is a lawyer or is studying finance, you need to be able to understand student and to have interesting conversation with student to make him or her interested, happy, motivated. That's why teachers who are very experienced, for example, usually teachers coming from different fields, they did different works before, they, uh, or they had many students. They have automatically this knowledge, or teachers who have been overseas traveling a lot. Uh, their knowledge is wider. They are easier to talk to students about many different topics. And it's not difficult for them, it's natural. Uh, for students it's also nice, it's very good advantage. Those type of uh, teachers are more wanted, are higher paid, and it's more fun for not only students but for teacher too to talk about many different topics.